You're about to learn the secrets DJ Mustard has used to produce some of the largest songs in the last decade and how you can use it to make your beats addictive. He's recently had his hand in producing Not Like Us with Kendrick Lamar, which is glued to number one on the charts. One of the most important things to get right if you want to replicate a kind of sound or vibe is the BPM. A lot of Mustard beats are around 90 to 120 BPM. I'm going to sit somewhere in the middle at 110 BPM. Mustard has perfectly learned the balance between creating a catchy melody but not making it overcomplicated. Complicated. His signature sound usually involves a bell, a pluck, or a bass, or all of them combined. So I've grabbed this pluck here. It's just using Citrus, which is a stock FL Studio plugin. Now, if you want to make sure that the notes you're playing are in the right scale, in FL Studio, you can click this arrow, click on View, and turn on Scale Highlighting, and then select whichever scale you want to play your melody in. So I chose C minor, and I'm going to place down a catchy melody. One thing that's very common for Mustard to do is have his melodies come back in four or eight bars later at a higher octave, like this for example. Just because the melody is simple doesn't mean there's not gonna be evolution. I've picked this other version of the pluck here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the whole melody. I'm gonna hold down shift and drag down an octave. So here we have this kind of chord layered version of the melody like this. Which can come in a little bit later as some evolution. I also have a very simple bell which I can layer on top and it wouldn't be a mustard beat without a very catchy bass line like this. One thing that's very common for mustard to do is actually stutter his melody and his bass so they're coming in at slightly different times and it adds this cool kind of duet vibe. So here we have this awesome catchy melody that sounds perfect for a mustard beat. I'm gonna go in and create another melody with a slightly different style that mustard also uses and then come back to this beat and add drums on it in a little bit. A lot of mustard's recent songs have a real melodic vibe. To replicate this cool melodic vibe, I'm gonna grab a guitar. I'm using Scorch here. So when making the melody, you can make it more of a fluent melody that continues the rhythm the whole way through. Or if you listen to Not Like Us. I, must have a beat, ho, deep, oh, deep, rap, nigga, he a free throw. We have a more kind of studded chord progression, which has some gaps in between the chords just like this. So I have this quick chord here. We just go from an F to a C and back to the F. But the main melody is carried in this G, G sharp and A here. So we have these chords. And one thing I'm going to do is grab these last two notes, hold shift, and bring this down an octave. I then have a slightly different variation of this chord where we have this C sharp instead of this C, which sounds like this. And then back to the first one. I changed the preset, so we have this here. And if you wanna make it sound thin, like not like us, you can delete the bottom notes and you're left with this here. Back to the melodic beat, but I'm actually going to change the BPM to around 130 and I'm going to create a catchy melodic melody like this. To add some bounce to this melody, I'm going to add some notes like this which go in between chords and lead from one chord into another and it really keeps the rhythm of the melody going. I'm gonna also add some root notes to this melody. As you can see, um, we go from this C here down to this A sharp, and back to the C and back to the A sharp and that kind of holds the rhythm of the track. So I'm gonna make sure to follow this with these root notes. To make the guitar sound so much more realistic, I'm gonna click Alt S and open up a strum tool and this changes the velocity and it also changes the timing of the melody so the notes come in slightly later than they're supposed to. With this melody ready, I'm gonna go back to the first beat and actually finish it by adding drums. Just in case you weren't convinced this is a perfect mustard style beat, I added this snap here, which is iconic in mustard's tracks. And also this chant here. I also have this kick sequence here. I'm gonna tweak the velocity of some of the kicks just to make it so it's not the same punchy kick coming in over and over again. I 
have this 808 here from the Emotional Essence Library. Uh, this clap here. It's very common for a mustard track to have an awesome sounding open hi-hat that carries a lot of the rhythm for the drums. So I have this open hi-hat sequence and I've actually lowered some of the volumes of the open hi-hats. So we have these very prominent open hi-hats that come in at the start. I grab this very crisp sounding hi-hat and I'm gonna create a hi-hat sequence for this track. I'm gonna change the magnet to one fourth step and I'm gonna go and click on a hi-hat and click control U, which is gonna slice it up. And I'm also gonna change the velocity and the panning of this hi-hat roll here. Music can often be described as the gap in between notes. I think for hi-hats that's very important. I've gone and taken out some of the hi-hats. If you don't want to completely take out a hi-hat because it sounds too empty without it, you can add in a lower pitch hi-hat and lower the volume, which is going to sound like this. So it's still there, but it's not as intrusive as a normal sounding hi-hat and it still adds a cool kind of gap. I'm going to select all of the layers, go into the mixer track, hold Control shift l and that's going to send everything into the mixer track so I can go through and actually mix this beat. Without reverb, this main pluck sounds really basic. And if you want to get that big room dance style effect, drag the wet all the way up and also drag up the decay, which is going to make the notes sound so much longer and wider and blend into each other. Mustard and his engineer tend to do a very good job of mixing the beats. One thing I'm going to do with this pluck here is I'm going to add an EQ and cut off some of the low end, which is going to stop it from clashing with the bass. As you can see, the bass is really hitting down here in the bass section of this EQ. And what we've done is we've actually cut out those frequencies, which hasn't really changed the sound of the pluck, but it's just mean that those harmful frequencies that you can't really hear aren't going to be clashing with the bass. I'm going to add a little bit of texture to this bass by adding a distortion on it like this. We have this secondary pluck which comes in later. I'm also going to cut some of the low end off that. I also added this supporting melody here which follows the bass. Which is just another layer that we can bring in later. And again I'm going to do the same thing with the EQ. As you can see there's all of this low end down here which I'm cutting off. And it doesn't change how it sounds but it's going to make the mix sound so much cleaner. I'm now going to bring the drum layers in one by one and just make sure that the levels are correct. Add a teeny bit of reverb to this hi-hat. I'm also going to add a soft clipper to this beat. I have the knock clipper here. I'm also going to lower this slider here down towards the soft side. And what that does is it changes the speed that the clipper actually brings the volume back in after it's clipped. I'm then going to increase the main volume knob, which is actually going to increase the volume of the track. Now I'm going to drag this into my playlist. Right click on it, click split by channel and go and arrange this beat. To add evolution to this track, I brought in a lot of the layers later. We have this bass that comes in four bars in. And then four bars later, we have the kick coming in and also this snap. And then a bit later, There's also this bridge that comes in slightly later, which has this supporting melody here, and it also has this chant that comes in. I think that beat sounds perfect for a mustard style beat. Let me jump back into this second beat and actually go and add the drums on top of that. I have this bouncy hi-hat sequence here. Adding a clap, we get a sound like this.
We also have this kick in 808 sequence here. I added this cool stutter effect with the bass and the kick here. As you can see, the kick hits here, whereas the 808 hits here. And we have this cool effect where the kick comes in and the 808 is delayed. We have a cymbal and an open hi-hat. I'm gonna add a teeny bit of reverb to the guitar. One other thing I've done is I've gone to the Emotional Essence Library. I picked Sad Melancholic, which is the kind of vibe I'm going for this beat. And I scrolled down and found a melody that was in the same scale as this one. And this is the original melody here, which is awesome. But the main thing I'm interested in is this vocal bed here. I've slowed it down to 130 BPM. I also lowered it 1200 cents, which is an octave. And now it sounds like this. and it blends into the background as a cool live element. Now to finish mixing this track, I'm also gonna add this soft clipper again on the master. And just like that, we finish another perfect beat with a mustard style vibe. The samples I used to make this beat, including the live vocals, are all from the Emotional Essence Library, which is 90% off. It has over 10,000 royalty-free samples and MIDI, including chord progressions, live vocals, samples, live guitar, and so much more. If you want to learn about the secrets that other producers use to create their iconic kind of sound, click on one of the suggested videos.